my dear people of Southern Cameroon and Bazonia, this is your brother again, Dr. David Makongo, trying to figure out why is it so difficult for us to break the bonds of colonization and cut the chains of annexation. And finally, I think I got the answer. I got the answer. It is hidden in the March 4th, 1960 French Cameroon Colonial Constitution. Again, I have found the answer why it has taken the people of Southern Cameroon 59 years to find themselves and regain their freedom. I found the answer in the March 4, 1960 French Cameroon Colonial Constitution. So the question I want to answer here tonight is whether the Cameroonian Constitution of 1960, precisely March 4th, is the cemetery in which the sovereignty of Southern Cameroons is buried. Let me repeat. Is the Cameroon Constitution the cemetery in which the sovereignty of the Southern Cameroons is buried? The answer is yes. The March 4th, 1960 French Cameroon Colonial Constitution is the cemetery in which Southern Cameroon's sovereignty is buried. And to free ourselves from this cemetery, we must first unite as a people and fearlessly tear down these stinking walls and tear them down massively so that we can cut the chains of our enslavement that have been hanging on us for the past 59 years. What is a cemetery? A cemetery is a piece of land used for burial. I'll ask again, what is a cemetery? A cemetery is a piece of land used for burial. The cemetery in which the sovereignty of the people of Southern Cameroon's Ambazonia is buried alive is the March 4th, 1960 Constitution of the Republic of Cameroon. This is the same constitution which I drew your attention to last April 15th. I told you, if you can remember, that Mr. Joseph Owona was appointed as a member of the Constitutional Council to manipulate this constitution and further enslave the people of Southern Cameroons. I also told you the CPD and Cabal will use their senators and MPs to convene a meeting on June 10th, 2020, in an ordinary session to administer the oath of office to Mr. Joseph Owona, a maneuver clearly aimed again at changing the Constitution. The end goal, ladies and gentlemen, is to transfer power at the summit of the state by mutual agreement. I repeat, the end goal is to transfer power at the summit of the state by mutual agreement. This will automatically renew the chains of Southern Cameroon's annexation and place our lands and its people under a new landlord. I repeat, if changed, this will end up renewing the chains of Southern Cameroon's annexation and it will place the lands of Southern Cameroon and its people under a new landlord. Maybe Frank Bia, maybe Ngongo Ferdinand. Ladies and gentlemen, the March 4, 1960 Cameroon Colonial Constitution is the cemetery where, in which 
the sovereign rights of the people of southern Cameroons were fictitiously buried in Fumban in 1961 under a smoke screen two states federation. Again, the March 4, 1960 Cameroon colonial constitution, as modified in 1972, is the cemetery in which the sovereign rights of the people of southern Cameroons were surreptitiously buried to annex the territory after huge quantities of oil were discovered. This violation of Article 47 of the fake Fumban Constitution provided a unitary state, the United Republic of Cameroon, as it was called, which should never have been the case. Again, the March 4, 1960 Cameroon Colonial Constitution is a cemetery in which the key concept of separation of powers between the executive, legislature, and judiciary have been buried, leaving in its wake a highly centralized system with most powers retained by Aijo and then Paul Bia. The March 4, 1960 Cameroon colonial constitution is a cemetery in which the plan to delete southern Cameroons completely from the map of the world was buried. I repeat, the March 4, 1960 Cameroon colonial constitution is the cemetery in which the plan to delete southern Cameroons completely from the map of the world was buried. This is the law that gave Bia the powers to abolish the unitary state in 1984 and unilaterally named it La République du Cameroon, thereby going back to the name she acquired at independence on January 1st, 1960. As you can see, this marked the completion point for the recolonization of Southern Cameroons. The March 4th, 1960 Cameroon Colonial Constitution is the cemetery in which justice, liberty, peace, and freedom of the people of Southern Cameroons have been buried, leaving in its wake a highly centralized state system under which pres presidential power is reinforced to its fullest extent with the power to hire and fire, appoint and dismiss at the pleasure of the king, Mr. Bia. This March 4, 1960 Cameroon colonial constitution, as revised in 1979, is the cemetery in which the Southern Cameroon's only hope of ascending to the supreme magistracy of the state was buried. Until three years before Aijo resigned, as you may recall, Solomon Tande Muna, the then president of the National Assembly, from 1973 to 1982, was the constitutional successor to President Amadou Aijo before the constitution was again juggled by Aijo in 1979 to replace Muna with Paul Bia, Prime Minister since 1975, after achieving unification in 1972, where they used Muna to betray his people of Southern Cameroons. This is how Amadou Aijo stabbed Muna and the people of Southern Cameroon on the back for Paul Bia to climb up to power and install himself for 39 years at the apex of the state in Cameroon since 1982 till date. This March 4, 1960 Cameroon colonial constitution as modified again in 1984 and as revised again in 1996 and again modified in 2008 is the cemetery in which the Ngabu and other massacres against the peace-loving people of southern Cameroons were planned and executed by the Cameroon military. This March 4th, 1960 Cameroon colonial constitution, which Mr. Joseph Owen has swore to defend, is the cemetery in which Samuel Wazizi, Sam Sawyer, Mami Api, Bibi Mata, and all other southern Cameroonians killed in this war were buried. It is this cemetery that gives the Bia regime the legal license to murder any southern Cameroonian 
whom they choose to kill until we don't just know who their next target is. But we know for sure there will be many others killed to maintain this cemetery. This March 4, 1960 Cameroon colonial constitution, which Mr. Joseph Owen has sworn to defend, is the burial ground for any hope to end the war and immediately reach a negotiated settlement if allowed to be revised again this time around. This March 4, 1960 Cameroon colonial constitution, which Mr. Joseph Owen has swore to defend, is the graveyard in which all the solid minerals in the northern zone and all the oil and gas resources in the southern zone are buried while our people die of hunger and starvation in prison and in the bushes. Again, the Cameroon colonial constitution, ladies and gentlemen, stopped the breathing of every southern Cameroonian and Bazonian citizen and placed us on life support with no extra or functional ventilator to save us. But I have hope because like the Black Lives Matter movement in the United States of America has responded positively and powerfully following the killing of George Floyd, the people of Southern Cameroons will one day rise and break down the walls of the cemetery and liberate themselves if they really want the bonds of slavery to be shattered and cut the chains of annexation. From now on, no reasonable Southern Cameroonian should allow themselves to be buried again in the abbeys of this Cameroon colonial constitution. As you can see, it is just a piece of shit which is aimed at robbing you with shit so that you can lose your self-esteem and never have self-confidence to pursue collective and individual dreams as a people with a common destiny. This Cameroon colonial constitution, if changed and if allowed to be changed by Mr. Joseph Oona to transfer power by any undemocratic means will be the bomb that will set the Republic of Cameroon completely ablaze. A key question, therefore, that will answer is whether the people of Southern Cameroon's Ambazonia will be in a state of high alert, ready to take back their destiny into their own hands at a time when the citizens of La Republique du Cameroon will be massively mobilized to reclaim their own sovereign authority, won from France and lost to Aijo and Bia since January 1st, 1960. The answer to this question, ladies and gentlemen, holds the key to the future. The answer to this question will determine the extent to which Cameroon's colonial constitution, which is the python and the cemetery of the people of southern Cameroons, will continue to bury all of us and bury our hopes and aspirations of the people of Ambazonia. The clock is ticking. Tick tock. Tick tock. While Boya awaits her children to come back home. Free at last. Ladies and gentlemen, it is in this constitution that all our problems as a people have been cooked and served to us for 59 years running. But I want to tell you today that because we have known what our problem was, because we have known where we hit our leg before we fell, because we have known why we have not been able to overcome our occupier and take back our lands and free our people and live in peace like all other peoples of the world, we will overcome my people. I just want you to be confident we will overcome. Thank you. Thank you all, and may God abundantly bless you. My dear...